Welcome to Electrical Trade Theory N2. We're going to be looking at three phase transformer calculations. Our first question A three phase transformer has a primary star connection and a delta secondary connection. The input line voltage is 190 volts and the output line voltage is 3300 volts. Determine the following. First of all, when we see the word three phase, we must remember square root three in our formulas. When working with equations, we use phase values. And unless stated, we assume line values. We've got star on the primary, delta on the secondary. Therefore, on the secondary side, VL is equal to V phase. And this question, they've specified that the, that the voltages given are our line voltages. All right, question one, calculate the primary phase voltage. Now remember the primary side is star connected. So to calculate V phase one, it's gonna be VL1 over square root three. VL1 is 190 volts divided by square root three, and that gives us 109,697 V phase one. Now to calculate the transformer ratio, when using the equation for the ratio, we use phase values. So it's going to be V phase one over V phase two. V phase one we've just calculated is 109,697. On the secondary side, it's delta connected. So therefore the line voltage and the phase voltage will be exactly the same, which is 3,300. Right, now we ask ourselves, which of those two values is the smaller value? 109,697 is the smaller value. It will go into itself once, and it will go into 3,300. 30 times. Therefore, the ratio is 1 on the primary and 30 on the secondary. Okay, to calculate the secondary line current, when the primary line current is 600 amps. If we look at the primary side, we'll notice it's star connected, and therefore IL is equal to R phase. So the line current of 600 amps is also our phase current. All right, so let's, um, on the secondary side, before we can calculate the line current, let's try and work out the phase current. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our equation where V phase one over V phase two is equal to R phase two over R phase one. Let's substitute all those values in. Our primary phase voltage is 109,697. The secondary phase voltage is 3,300. And the secondary phase current, that's the unknown factor, and then the primary phase current is 600 amps. A little bit of cross multiplication. And the value for the secondary phase current is 19,945 amps. To calculate the secondary line current, if we look at the formula on the secondary side, IL2 will be equal to square root three times R phase two. And that will give us 34,545 amps. Right, before we move on to this question, just push pause and make sure that you got the, that got the former question correct and you got all the answers correct. All right, this question reads, a 750 kVA three-phase transformer is star delta connected. The turns ratio of the transformer is one is to five. There is a secondary voltage of 33 kilovolts. Now remember the units for the units KVA represents the symbol S, which is the rating of the transformer. The ratio tells us that this is a step-up transformer. The voltage on the secondary side is the line voltage, because they haven't specified whether it's line or phase. But if we look at the secondary side, we'll note that it's delta connected, so therefore VL2 is equal to V phase 2. Okay, let's calculate the secondary phase voltage, as we've just said. It's going to be 33,000 volts. Okay, to calculate the primary line voltage, we're going to use our equation. If we can work out what the phase voltage is, we'll be able to determine the line voltage. Okay, so let's look at our equation. V phase 1 over V phase 2. We've got the ratio is 1 is to 5. Our secondary phase voltage is 33 thousand volts so what factor will go into 33,000 five times and will go into itself once we can use a little bit of mathematics 
33,000 divided by five would give us 6,600. We can double check our answer. 6,600 will go into itself once and it will go into 33,000 five times. Okay, remember the primary line voltage is the original question. To calculate the primary line voltage, it's gonna be square root three times the phase voltage of 6,600 and we'll get 11,431 kilovolts. Okay, before moving on to this question, double check that all your answers are correct for the previous question. A three phase transformer has 600 turns on the primary side and 120 turns on the secondary side. Calculate the secondary line voltage on no load if the transformer is supplied by 2,2 kilovolt and connected in. Now there's two parts to this question. The first part is that they specify that the transformer is connected in star delta. The second part of the question, the transformer will be connected in delta star. So it's a little bit confusing. Now the primary voltage is 2,200 volts and we're gonna assume that it is line voltage. The unknown factor is secondary line voltage. Okay, there's our symbols. It's star on the primary, delta on the secondary. So let's first calculate uh, V phase one. V phase one will be equal to VL1 over square root three. The line voltage on the primary side is 2200 divided by square root three. And that gives us a phase voltage of 1270,171. Now the original question is asking us for the secondary line voltage. Now, if we look at the secondary side, it's delta connected. So VL2 will be equal to V phase two. Okay, there's our equation. It's 600 turns on the primary, 100, 120 turns on the secondary. Therefore our ratio is five is to one. If we substitute uh, V phase one, we'll be able to determine what the secondary phase voltage is. Okay, let's double check our answer. 254,034 will go into itself once and it will go into 1270,171 five times. Therefore, the secondary line voltage is the same as the phase voltage and that is 254,034. All right, next question. A three phase distribution transformer has a delta connected primary and a star connected secondary. The transformer is connected to a 6,6 .6 kilovolt supply. If the secondary phase voltage is 220, here's our symbols. We've got delta on the primary, star on the secondary, my memory term. VL is equal to V phase on the primary side. Okay, we're going to calculate the turns ratio. When working with the turns ratio, remember we're using phase values. So it's going to be V phase one over V phase two. Now, although we've given the line voltage on the primary side, on the primary side it's delta connected. So VL1 is equal to V phase one. And V phase two is given, which is 220 volts. So 220 will go into itself once and it will go into 6,630 times. Therefore, my ratio is 30 is to one. 